So one of the first things that's gonna go, this battery cover's cracked, bye-bye. Of course, coolant tank, it's out of there. And I have a power steering reservoir. We're gonna deal with that today. So uh, let's get to work. And through the magic of editing, today we're gonna replace the power steering reservoir with one of the stainless steel Moroso versions that, uh, that I got recently. Now you can see I've got my coolant tank out already, which I'm replacing also with the stainless steel tank. Uh, I'll link the video on how to do that in the comments below. Uh, you can also see I've got my air box missing. Uh, I took the air box out because it just makes it a lot easier to get to this. The first thing that we have to do is drain the fluid out of this, and I'm gonna use my fancy dancy suckomatic tool to get that done. So let's get started. See how much easier that made that? It was super fast. So anyway, uh, next thing I need to do is I need to pull off these two hoses right here. And this might make a little mess, so uh, I'm gonna be prepared to, uh, to mop up some power steering fluid. So let's get that done. I always go underneath these with a pick just to loosen up the rubber so it's not all stuck and I'm not trying to yank on something that's basically glued to the, the plastic there. All right, well, that one wasn't bad. Okay, and to get this bottom one out, I'm actually gonna take the bolts out first so that I can tip this back a little bit. This is two 10 millimeter bolts here. They're hardly even tight on there. All right, like I said, I did get some, I did get some leakage there, so no biggie. We'll clean it up. And here is our replacement. Isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna just connect this hose right up to it so it doesn't leak anymore, and then we'll get uh, we'll get it bolted down. On the underside of this reservoir, there is a pin that goes into a hole right here next to the battery. Once you get that pin in the hole, then that lines up your two bolt holes on the bottom. And I'll put the clamps back on. And now that we've got it installed, we're ready to fill it up with fluid. And I am using Mobile One Synthetic ATF. I've seen a lot of people recommend this. Uh, it meets the qualifications of what Mazda requires. So this is good stuff. So anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. And I'm not one of these fancy people that likes to try to see if I can do it without a funnel. I'm gonna use a funnel, so. <laughs> So I have to put my coolant tank back in and my air box back in before I can do the bleed on the, uh, the power steering reservoir. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that back together. Also the cap for the power steering reservoir from the stock one, it works great on this. So you can use that for this one. But anyway, let's put this all back together and we'll just use the magic of editing. And there you have the finished product. Stainless steel Moroso coolant overflow tank. And I also have the Power steering reservoir. Yes, I know it doesn't uh, really make a huge difference to have that in there, but you know what? I think it cleans up the engine bay pretty nicely. It makes it pretty nice and black all over. The only thing that kind of sticks out here is the washer fluid container. I may or may not do something with it. I don't know. 
But uh, I also replaced this battery cover because one of the ears was cracked off of it and it was splitting on the left side over there. So got a new one and uh, yeah, there we go. Everything's looking good. And then that leaves the question of what to do with this thing. I'll show you what to do with this thing. Drop it in the trash. That's all for now. Have a good one.